Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M, and I am a man who happens to be short. I stand a towering five foot six and a half, and according to societal standards and norms, anybody under five foot eight is deemed short. All right, so one of the most common questions or comments that I see, or I should say I catch, being posted on my videos on YouTube is surrounding my height, and it always made me scratch my head, wondering why people were so fixated on such an arbitrary topic. I think I even mentioned in a video or two videos, but I never focused on it because I never really thought that it was a big deal. I just don't think when I, you know how many times in a day I think to myself, damn, I'm short. I wish I was taller. Uh, zero. And so I never, I, it's not important to me. Um, I happen to be a short guy. It doesn't mean that I identify or I define myself as being short. Yo, I'm alpha. I kick ass in a lot of ways. I just happen not to be super tall. No big deal, right? Well, just because it doesn't matter to me doesn't mean that it doesn't matter to other people. And so with this in mind, I realize that there are a lot of you out there that are of modest stature who are looking for a little bit of help when it comes to figuring out and identifying what clothing styles, what clothing types actually work best on you and your frame. So today, I thought I would address the tiny, vertically challenged elephant in the room and talk about dressing the short man. Now, the first part of this video is gonna be a little Alpha M social commentary and perspective. Now, the second part of this video is actually some useful advice you can use. That doesn't mean that the first part isn't important. It just, you, you understand what I'm saying. All Alright, so check this out. It absolutely breaks my heart every time I get an email, I talk to somebody on the phone, I meet somebody in person, and they feel the need or compelled to tell me their height or that they're short. It's like they're asking me about hairstyle or hair product and they're telling me their height. I didn't want to know. I don't need to know. I didn't prompt them, but they felt compelled to tell me. Now, sure, of course, sometimes it actually matters. Like if they're like, yeah, I can't find shirts my size or the pants that I find too long is there any way to I'm um, five foot whatever then it matters but a lot of times they're telling me as if it's some sort of flaw or deficiency the sad reality is that many men who find themselves in the short category let their height define them as a person and it affects their confidence it affects their self-worth it is a terrible thing being short isn't a handicap it isn't a flaw it's a minor mi and when I say minor it is a super minor detail in the greater personal big picture now I get it right society has done an incredible incredible job of making us feel super insecure. If we're not six foot three, 160 pounds with chiseled abs, flowing hair, perfect smile and rich, it's like we have a deficiency. But remember gentlemen, this is the same media that is making stupid people famous these days. Don't get me started. That is a whole different rant for a whole different day. God, but seriously, yo, stupid people. Anyway, we need better role models. That is what I'm thinking. Anyway, this is not about role models. This is not about stupid celebrities that our media is making famous. This is about you. This is about me. This is about being short. And I got a news flash for you. Being short is not the reason why you didn't achieve your goals, all right? It's not. Now, that being said, you've got to be realistic with your goals. If your goals are like, I want to play in the NBA, and you're like five foot one and a half, you gotta be realistic. And while we're on the topic of goals and achievements, there is something to be said for short men feeling the need to actually have to prove themselves and to work harder than their average or taller than average counterparts. Well, my short brothers, I've got a little secret for you, a little insight into society, right? There is, uh, it doesn't matter who you are, okay? Doesn't matter if you're tall, doesn't matter if you're short, doesn't matter if you're white, black, heavy, lightweight, whatever, all right? There's always going to be somebody or a group of people out there that are prejudiced towards something about pretty much everybody. Does that make sense? Skin color, hair color, ethnicity, weight, all these things, all right? You are focused on being short and thinking that other people aren't going to give you a chance. They're not going to put you in the game, coach. Come on. You're not going to get the six foot two model, whatever. They're too high maintenance anyway. <laughs> uh, for the records, ladies, short guys try harder. Now I'm just kidding, but they do kinda. Uh, <laughs> where is this going? It doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter what you look like, all right? One of the greatest things about us as humans and what makes us the most beautiful is the fact that we are all different, but it's this one difference that so many of us men let affect our confidence and self-esteem. Give yourself permission to let your character, your drive, 
your integrity, your personality define you as a man, not your height. What I'm trying to say in a nutshell, it doesn't matter if you're six foot two, it doesn't matter if you're five foot two. Your height does not dictate who you are. It does not define you as a man. It also does not limit your possibilities, gentlemen. You've got to decide for yourself what you're capable of. Ah, my inner Oprah. <laughs> I'm done. She's out. Now, let's talk about the real reason you're here. Learning how to shop and how to dress being a short man because shopping and dressing sharp as a short man does present some challenges. Now, the majority of my videos are geared towards the masses, right? I try not to identify and specifically target groups of people. Like people are like, yo, why aren't you doing more videos on black guys? Why aren't you doing more videos on red hair? Why aren't you doing more videos on whatever it is? People are always like, why don't you do it on the prom? Because here's the deal. What I try to do with all of my videos is make them as general as possible so that it doesn't matter who you are, you're able to extract some value. That being said, I feel that the best way that I can assist you in the short man shopping situation is actually to tell you about an incredible resource that I have found. The website that I found is called themodestman.com and it's run by a fellow shorty named Brock. So a few years ago, this dude Brock, right? He's a guy, he likes dressing sharp, he happens to be five foot six and he's like, yo, I am so sick of going and shopping in these stores and having the rise of these pants come down to my knees. And so he started doing his research. He started putting together some ideas and he has developed an incredible resource and website. It's a totally free website, there is a link below. And in an attempt to offer you you, full disclosure, I am not getting paid to promote this. I am not being compensated in any way, shape, or form. I am simply sharing something super cool that a fellow blogger is doing that is specialized on the topic. Because I am a firm believer, if somebody is doing something better than you, copy the hell out of it. No. <laughs> Let experts be experts. Let them do their thing. And it's a better idea for me just to share the resource. Because I was thinking, when I was thinking about doing this video, I'm like, alright, well I can talk about this and I can talk about this. And everything I sort of came up with was just sort of bland, generic, and sort of like bleh. And I really feel that Brock can do this much better justice than me. I'm not saying that if I didn't try, I couldn't put something solid together. And I in the future but for right now I feel that it's a great idea for you to go check out his website show him some love um, if you're a short guy and you're also looking for a little bit more help he actually has come up with an incredible 47 page ebook uh, that's incredibly reasonably priced and the cool thing about this ebook he not only talks and tells you about basically some strategies and some ideas of how you as a short guy can dress in order to maximize your presence and your look but he also goes into detail as to where you can actually find these great items. He tells you pretty much everything you need to know. The book is called Short Man Style. How to Achieve the Perfect Fit. There's a link down below to that also. Buy it, don't buy it, go check, don't check it out. There's definitely more information that you can go see. But I, like I said, I am making not one red cent from promoting Brock or his book. The fact is, he's talking all, and dedicated, right? He's talking exclusively about short men and short style, but that doesn't mean that there's not other great information that applies to pretty much everybody. In conclusion, gentlemen, I would like to offer you one more little word of wisdom. Being short is not a disability, so stop acting like it is. Don't use your height as an excuse to why you aren't achieving things. Get off your little ass and do it. <laughs> I can, I can say that because I am also short. You can if you're tall, but I can.